Sometimes the opposition is missing in action. When spiky issues comes up, like the repeal of Section 377A, this happens. For the government, when a spiky issue comes up, you can't disappear. You've got to assess the problem, weigh the arguments, and work out what, in our best judgment, is the right way forward for Singapore. There are strongly held opposing views among different segments of the population, and we have to do our best to bring everyone along and to hold everyone together and keep the society together. So on 377A, our ministers, comrades Masagos and Shanmugam, Edwin Tong, Desmond Lee, and many more, they've spent weeks and months meeting the contending groups, all with very strong, passionately held views, explaining, listening, taking in, giving time, bringing people gradually to accept what we ought to do together. They listened carefully, they explained patiently, they got all sides to accept that on such an issue, everybody has to give and take. No group can get everything at once. Now, where is the opposition on Section 377A? Are they critiquing the government's approach? Do they support or oppose what the government is doing? Are they offering alternative proposals? None of the above. The opposition is missing in action. They've said nothing so far. and They've declined all comment. They refuse even to say whether they have a party position or if they lift their whip on MPs when Parliament votes on the amendments, which it's going to do at the end of this month. Because why? They don't want to displease anyone. Therefore, they have gone A-W-O-L. AWOL. <laughs> you can't have an AWOLI governing Singapore. Governing Singapore is a serious business. And so is being the opposition, especially if it aims to win more and more seats, which must eventually mean taking over. You can't lie low and disappear when it suits you. And when the opposition does that, it calls into question their fitness for parliament, let alone to govern. 